How's it going, super friends? Welcome back to my channel, and a great big shout out to my friend from Civilian Collectibles for drawing my attention to the fact that Walmart.com has images loaded of the soon coming McFarlane DC Multiverse action figures. Seeing these images answers a lot of questions that a lot of DC fans have had since the very beginning, like what is the quality of these figures going to be like? What are the articulation points going to be? What's the character selection going to be like? We had heard that he'll he'll be able to do pretty much whatever he wants in the six and seven inch scale. We were also wondering, will they be six or will they be seven? Now word on the grapevine was that he was going to be doing the figures in seven inch scale which would answer the question as to will these figures fit in with our existing multiverse? If they're seven inch, the obvious answer is no, because they'll be about a head taller. But looking at the box art here, we can see that A, he's continuing on with the DC multiverse namesake. B, 22 points of articulation shall these figures have. And also for the comic book figures, at least their appearances are going to be based on how they looked in a specific issue. So Action Comics 1000 for Superman and Batman will be based on Detective Comics issue 1000. We can see that there are going to be three versions of Superman and three versions of Batman, that being comic book versions, animated versions, and armored versions of the characters. We can also see that he's starting to cover the live action side of things with the CW vs. Stephen Amell Green Arrow action figure here. And also, there are animated figures based on the Timverse. You've got Superman, Batman, John Stewart Green Lantern, and Harley Quinn. And then rounding out the comic book side of things, we can see a Batgirl and a Nightwing based on their rebirth look, as well as the Batman Who Laughs, which is a figure that a lot of us had been asking for. So all of these comic book figures, Superman, Batman, Batgirl, Nightwing, Batman Who Laughs, these are all characters that I am super stoked about. And the Superman armor is something that has me really excited as well because we don't really get very many armored versions of Superman. And who doesn't want Hellbat armor? Just look at it. It's sick! Just looking at these figures, I can tell you that the articulation points are absolutely light years ahead of what we were getting with the multiverse. You can see that not only do they have double jointed knees and elbows, but they got butterfly hinges that seem to be fairly well hidden. The ball joints in the shoulders, biceps, swivels, you got the feet which are on probably definitely better than the DC Essentials ankle ball joints. They're probably just as firm and stable as the Fortnite ankle ball joints. And there's also toe articulation. The waist and the torsos of these figures appear to be on ball joints as well, which is definitely a step up from the ab crunch. The sculpted details of these figures is through the roof awesome. I mean, look at Superman. The symbol on his chest is a completely different sculpted piece that appears to be inset into his torso. Also revealed for this lineup, we have a bat trike, which I think is an interesting choice. It's not something that I'm super excited about. It actually reminds me of a Batman vehicle that Kenner would have made way back in the day for their Dark Knight line or something like that. And then a Collect and Connect Batmobile. Yeah, that's not something I saw coming, but I don't think that you're going to be able to fit your figures in it. This is probably going to be a 1 18th scale Batmobile or something like that. One thing's for sure. These figures definitely look like they're going to be of the utmost quality. They're going to have us collectors chomping at the bit and going on the toy hunt for DC stuff a whole lot more often. And I absolutely anticipate that these figures are going to be a massive, massive hit for adult collectors in 2020 and onwards into the future. On a personal note, I kind of feel like they should have foregone the animated Superman, Batman, Harley Quinn, and Jon Stewart in favor of more comic accurate versions and filled the slots with, say, Wonder Woman, Martian Man, Hunter, Aquaman, and a Green Lantern of some sort. And also the lack of cloth goods capes is definitely going to be something that some collectors are going to say, why do we have these pre-posed plastic capes on the backs of these figures? Or likely like a softer rubber on the backs. Why did we go with this direction as opposed to cloth goods when we know it can be done now in a very effective way? I, I don't know. I'll likely end up replacing the capes on mine, but, but those are my personal nitpicks for these figures. For better or for worse, I definitely feel like in general we are in good hands as adult collectors with McFarlane handling the DC license. He's going to make some missteps along the way. There's going to be refinements. There will likely be changes to how he does things along the way, as we've also seen 
with the Fortnite figures, but I think in general we are in good hands with McFarlane right now and his DC Multiverse offerings. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments section below. I'm interested to hear from you because my opinion is not king. And if you want to see more of the stuff that I put out on YouTube, it's exclusively DC Comics related on this channel, then I invite you today on behalf of the rest of the Super Friends to join the DC Squad simply by, well, you know what I'm gonna ask. You click the red button and then you become one of us. No, I'm, uh, that just sounds like you're joining a cult. Join the DC Comics cult, and I will see you with the next episode. Goodbye.